Hi, and welcome back to Always Dolls. Today we share with you how to transform a cereal box into a stylish serving counter perfect for an American Girl cafe or coffee shop. We also craft a matching display shelf for extra merchandise or food items. These pieces are modular so you can arrange them however you wish to best suit your play space. As a bonus, we also have a quick food craft to help you stock your cafe for those hungry customers. Check out our previous tutorial to make the barista coffee machine. Hit the like button if you enjoy this video, subscribe and share to help our channel grow. Welcome to the AG Cafe. What can I get for you? Latte, frappe, cappuccino maybe? So, what will your order be? Start with an empty cereal box. When tipped on its side, our Wheat Bix box measures 26 centimetres long, 21 and a half centimetres high and 9 centimetres deep. A great scale for our 18 inch dolls. Here we marked out the window for our display shelves. You can follow the measurements used on screen or customise them to suit the dimensions of your box. Cut away this rectangular section and repeat on the back side. Paint the outside of the box brown. For the front of the counter, we recycled clear plastic packaging, cutting a rectangle slightly bigger than the window for faux glass. Glue the packaging on the inside of the cereal box with liquid glue or double-sided tape. Our shelves are cut from 5mm foam board, but you could substitute this with cardboard. You need two side walls, base shelf, centre shelf and top piece. Paint pink. Here we layered scraps of foam board to make a 2cm platform. Using hot glue, attach the right side wall to the platform piece. Now glue the base shelf on top of the platform. Tip the counter on its side. Measure halfway up the side wall and mark this spot in pencil. Draw a line of hot glue and adhere the centre shelf. Follow by gluing on the top piece. Then close the counter with the left side wall. Insert the shelf unit into the box frame and permanently glue the tabs shut. Our cereal box serving counter looks great, but let's make it bigger. On another Wheat Bix box, measure in 10 centimeters from the side edge. We need to keep this area intact, so the width of our display window will be narrower. As before, cut this section from both the front and back of the box. Paint the outside brown. As before, cut and assemble the inner shelves. Paint pink, then slide inside the box and glue the tabs shut. Adhere the left side of your first box to the back right of the second, making an L-shaped counter. Trace this shape onto thick foam board, then cut the countertop. Paint your countertop blue, then hot glue into place. Bonus craft! To quickly stock our cafe with some yummy treats, let's use these donut erasers. They already have excellent texture and colour, so you can serve them as is, but we want to step them up. For the classic cinnamon sugar donut, mix craft stand with Mod Podge. Coat the eraser in the mixture, then place on a non-stick surface while it dries. For a chocolate donut, remove the rubber insert piece, then use brown paint or puffy paint and pipe on the icing, giving you more texture and dimension. If you have fun foam scraps in brown, tan or white, cut them into tiny squares, adding them into the wet paint to make a chopped nut version. Switching to pink and fuchsia puffy paint, let's make some rainbow sprinkle donuts. Again, cover the top of your donut with the puffy paint. Then, cut coloured cardstock into thin slithers and sprinkle all over the wet puffy paint. When the paint has completely dried, set the donuts on a tray and serve up this delicious treat to all your hungry doll customers. Our display shelf was inspired by AG's mega construct set, Grace's Two Days in Paris. From foam board or cardboard, cut two side walls with a short top edge of 5cm. Cut a base and two wide shelves. Cut three narrow upper shelves. For the decorative columns, we recycled paper tubes. So our lower shelves can slope forward, measure and draw a diagonal line with a 5mm gradient. Repeat halfway down the panel for the second shelf. To assemble, hot glue the right side wall to the base. Tip the piece on its side and attach the first wide shelf, making sure to follow your pencil guidelines. Adhere the second wide shelf. 
Now we'll fix the first narrow shelf. Here we painted the underside blue. To match the Mega Blocks piece, you want the plain white side to face up. Glue on the left side wall. It's optional, but we cut, painted and glued thin strips of foam board to the front of these shelves. Hot glue two columns evenly spaced at the left and right ends of the unit. Attach the next white shelf. Repeat with two more columns, finishing with the top shelf. Have fun stocking your shop with merchandise. You can find these coffee bag printables at American Girl Ideas blog. Bring back the serving counter and your modular cafe shop is ready for use. Check back soon as we craft sweet and savoury foods for the dolls to sell. If you haven't already, subscribe to Always Dolls and hit the bell icon so you get notified as soon as a new video drops. See you soon for more miniature crafting fun!